genomics is the study of all a uh, person's genes, the genome, and including the interactions of those genes with each other and with the person's environment. It's new in India and it's slowly erupting. Like globally, there are around 100 uh, genomics companies with many of them situated in the U.S., India, on the other hand, has only 13 to 15 companies that have erupted in the last decade uh, that provide genomics-based diagnosis, especially post-COVID, we have seen a lot of other new companies and startups entering into this arena. And the Indian market for genomics is stands around uh, at rupees 500 CR. So today, our the healthcare startup, which we are trying covering on our healthcare startup series at MediCircle, uh, this is also some st a startup based on genomics. Uh, hello, this is Smita Kumar, and uh, you're watching MediCircle. And today, on this healthcare startup series, we have Gaurav Shivasta with us. Gaurav Shivasta is an alumni of IIT Kharagpur with expertise in navigation tech startups from India and Singapore. He's a serial entrepreneur who has founded and headed multiple startups along with Dr. Anirvan Chatterjee and Professor Kiran. He has launched a bioinformatics company named as Haystack Analytics. Hi, Gaurav, welcome to MediCircle. Hi, Smita. Thank you for that introduction. Uh, pleasure to connect with you. Same here, Gaurav. So, as the co-founder of Haystack Analytics, tell us more about your venture and its offerings. Uh, sure. You summarized uh, the company very well. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, the point that you mentioned around uh, uh, genomics, right? Genomics being uh, a technology which actually has the capability of unlocking a huge amount of information, uh, a science which actually has moved out of research labs now getting commercialized in a big way. Uh, across the world, US, uh, uh, a lot of the uh, Europe has actually taken a huge leap forward in human genomics. Uh, Haystack, what we're trying to do is we're trying to basically create a paradigm where uh, not just a specialized company, but uh, a di any diagnostic company, any uh, hospital, uh, which already has the reach to the patient, which already has all of the diagnostic uh, infrastructure of the patient, right? Uh, we want to enable each one of them to move into genomics, bring this, uh, this uh, technology uh, closer to where the user is already present, uh, allowing our partners to uh, bring the power of genomics and in that way, uh, personalized care uh, closer and sooner to the, to the uh, patients. That's the journey that we have taken on uh, ourselves. The solution that we are creating is all software-based. We uh, uh, Our software actually marries with different sequencing platforms. And that's one of the uh, intermittent steps of uh, genomics where you, you need to digitize the, the, uh, the biological sample that is coming in the DNA. Uh, the sequences, sequences are used for that purpose. Beyond the sequencer, then there is a process of uh, actually analyzing this uh, digital DNA. And that is where the speciality of the company uh, uh, like Haystack is. We uh, create the software which can take samples from uh, several sources, take uh, work with, several sequencing platforms, uh, build the entire di digital DNA back, and then create a reporting framework for several disease conditions. That, that's what we do. Uh, we are focused on uh, infectious disease in the last one year of our journey, and we are a one and a half year old company that is. Uh, and I am very proud to say that uh, we, uh, the first few products that we have created have practically are now being considered as uh, gold standard in uh, uh, the application uh, that they are actually uh, the, the problem that they are trying to solve on the ground. Uh, our product, product in tuberculosis is now the biggest uh, tuberculosis whole genome uh, uh, product in the context of India. Uh, our product for universal ID, which is the single test for every infectious uh, uh, disease, is uh, practically the second such solution anywhere in the world. Uh, and we are very proud of the, the technology that we have been building in India for the world. So, but as there are many few companies, actually very few companies who are working in genomics. So, but still, what are your USPs, your unique value propositions, which you have uh, against your uh, competitors? Yeah. So, I think uh, the, the several differentiations uh, that Haystack has, uh, while the core technology is uh, exactly the same, uh, the application of genomics is not just for human health conditions. Uh, it is actually the application of genomics can be put for any living being, right? Because uh, the, the base biology starts from the DNA. What Haystack has done is it has actually started on a, a segment which was deeply overlooked from an innovation point of view, which is infectious disease. We have worked in infectious disease for the last one and a half years. And I think it came very naturally to us as a company because uh, both uh, Professor Kiran and Dr. Animan Chatterjee, uh, my co-founders in the, in the company, 
have uh, spent a good uh, 15 plus years of their research career exactly in this domain they to their name uh, dr anivan was a part of the team which launched uh, globally the first uh, whole genome sequencing based uh, clinical solution anywhere in the world at nhs uk when he was a researcher there uh, he, they built that product they deployed that product and then they monitored the success of that product uh, that was a tb whole genome sequencing product way back in 2015 uh, anivan and professor kiran are also accredited with actually discovering 20 plus viruses here in india uh, and uh, naming them right so i think uh, the capability of understanding uh, infectious pathogen uh, being class classifying the infectious pathogen and finding out the uh, right representation for those infectious pathogen and also finding amr profiles for those pathogens is something that came very intrinsically to us and that's the piece that we have taken up and run and as your uh, startup has got uh, immense like good eminent partners uh, just like my mit and harvard so along with teams and cmc vedlor are also there So tell us more about your partnership network. Yeah, yeah. So Smita, the as a company, uh, we actually are integrating on both sides of the value chain. Uh, we we see ourselves as a tech company, a very R and D focused company, which is uh, focused on creating uh, IP. As I said, the uh, playground in which we are operating is uh, where we enable the current day diagnostic labs and hospitals. Uh, on the research side, we partner with uh, uh, Harvard. We partner with uh, uh, Oxford University. because of the the significant linkages that uh, our co-founders uh, bring in with these uh, these esteemed uh, institutions uh, and at the execution side we today uh, actually partner with practically every uh, diagnostic com- company in the country uh, i might uh, i might say top of the top 10 diagnostic companies in the country uh, eight of them are already my uh, partners who are uh, for taking our products to the market uh, our tuberculosis uh, whole genome sequencing product is uh today in the market uh, with around 27 uh, different partners uh, around 12 13 of the of them are diagnostic labs apollo uh, uh aims the three of the aims are working with us uh, so we have been able to create a tremendous uh, partner ecosystem and i think uh, uh the reason for that is uh, uh, we are trying to solve exactly the the biggest problem that they have been facing all of them wanted to bring the latest technology to their uh, uh, for their patients uh genomics is while it is it is considered to be the key uh, uh, technology of the future is very difficult on the uh, development side we have been able to unlock that the development life cycle and uh, created it as a one click solution that we work on their tabletops that's why the uh, uh, partnership that we have been able to create in the context of india in the last one year i think has just given us a tremendous amount of confidence of uh, how the market is ready for genomics and is ready to adopt Uh, but uh, as like many people still don't understand and it they, they feel that it's really complex but as most of the other people also understand that this is like a scientific study of complex diseases lot many diseases which uh, not, most of the indians are having like heart diseases or uh, diabetes even cancer and asthma so definitely uh, there is a benefit of uh, genomics and the precision medicine that means that there is a promise also that these therapies would be helping the patients especially diagnosing them helping them finding out uh, the particular diseases or what kind of condition genetic code or better determine the sort of treatment it's completely new i i completely agree it's completely new with the systems but yes uh, haystack analysis is doing great in this uh, particular domain so uh, what are like your future scale up and expansion plans for this year 2022 yeah so uh, smita we've uh, just brought to market uh, our product uh, which we internally call universal id uh, universal id is basically a single it's a genomic based test it's a single test which is designed to identify any infectious pathogen uh, the the first first product that we have launched to the market uh, the first version of it has the capability of identifying any of the bacterial uh, pathogens any of the viral uh, any of the fungal pathogens i'm sorry and uh, protozoal and amoeba uh, pathogens from the same from uh, one sample which basically means that uh, this this product will now eliminate the need of a battery of tests that uh, we need to do uh, for any infectious disease uh, uh, infectious patient uh, so what is the biggest problem in infectious patients uh, that is the width of uh, pathogens that that can actually infect a person right is huge uh, in in the context of india around 1200 different pathogens have been identified uh, which can actually infect a patient and and take the patient to a, a fever condition and then also if not treated at the right time uh, can also get the patient admitted uh, th- this this is a pro- problem which is 
not just in india it's actually globally globally uh, prevalent prevalent in an extreme case right infections actually lead to a condition called sepsis uh, and the data that that is available uh, around us it says 40% as even today 40% of all the deaths that happen in our icu actually happened because of uh, uh, infections uh, that is the solution that is a problem that haystack has been able to solve for uh, by creating universal id uh, one test through which we will be able to identify any infectious pathogen and in case of bacterial uh, infection we will also be able to do the entire amr profile which means the doctor will know uh, in one go in a 10 10 hours turn around time so what is the infection the patient has and what is the right medication uh, that or a right antibiotic that has to be given to the patient giving an opportunity to several patients uh, for several patient lives to be saved uh, in the future uh, our execution plan is uh, uh, roll this product out uh, in the in the width of the country uh, with uh, some key partnerships that we are now creating in the in, in for exactly that purpose and uh, in the parallel uh, because this is a this is a product uh, which solves a problem which is very very global in nature figure out the uh, road map of taking these this product to several new geographies we're already talking to uh, key stakeholders in the middle east and southeast asia uh, with the intent of creating a, a, a footprint in these two geographies in the next 3 months and uh, hopefully in 2023 we'll be able to also uh, set uh, our foot in 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 the american geography with the fda that we are initiating now Uh, so, but uh, uh, last quick question there, uh, Bharo, that uh, what are the goals uh, Haystack Analysis wants to achieve in this year? As you're already uh, on your growth path, you have a good partner partner network, and you're getting this validated. So, what is the next step, next goals which you want to achieve in this year? I think with uh, at a research level, uh, we are now moving from infectious to uh, human chronic conditions. it's a it's a slightly uh, populated market uh, that way outside of india there are several players who have been approaching uh, uh, human uh, genomic conditions uh, very differently we have chosen our own trajectory uh, for uh, bringing lifetime value to a user uh, there's a lot of good work that is happening and i'll, I'll talk about it uh, possibly at the right time uh, and and that's the unlock that we want to start building we are already building and we start to bring to the market by the end of this year now uh, on the uh, infectious disease part Uh, i i think uh, uh, the the kind of innovation that has been created uh, we want to now uh, figure out the right uh, executional uh, trajectory so that we are able to take this technology to as many geographies as possible at the earliest uh, time uh, 200 hospitals is what internally we are targeting uh, to get to in the next uh, 12 months broadly uh, i think if we are able to achieve that we will be a very happy company so as a uh... Uh, like these genomics so and their uh, programs are definitely it's very very complex but definitely it is also going to i think solve the one of the biggest challenges that's affordability of healthcare because if you're not going to do multiple tests and with some single test it is going to predict and suggest the clinician about the patient's condition i think it would be really saving lot of cost uh, there so what's your comment there for Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I think there are two aspects to it. One is the cost of the transaction and the value of the transaction. I, I might get five tests done, but if I'm still not able to identify the key problem, then the net value of these uh, five tests is practically zero. It's some cost to the to the last mile uh, uh, patient. Uh, the opportunity that we are trying to create uh, in the healthcare ecosystem is uh, absoluteness of information. If we are targeting a disease condition uh, if we are targeting a health condition uh, the activity that we want to bring to the table is let us open up the entire biology using genomics and that's the power of genomics and tell the user the clinician and the patient everything that they need to know right from what is the problem uh, what is the right medicine and what are the right interventions that are available to uh, make the most impact in the life of the patient and the user at the point that's how we we are looking at this opportunity very point in time interesting uh, place in the history because the genomics as a technology uh, has done very very well on the research side and uh, genomics as a technology has been very costly also historically uh, the genomics a, a typical uh, dna sampling would uh, cost around uh, $10000 plus not very uh, far away in the history uh, even 4 5 years ago today we have reached a place where uh, in in time where sequencing uh, as a technology is now uh, uh, very scaled uh, it ready for commercialization in a very big way uh, the cost of a typical dna sequencing now is sitting in the range of 
40, 50 to 70 dollars, depending upon what, what bases you work with. And with this, uh, it, it opens up the opportunity of bringing all of the research uh, that has been done in the background for the last 20 years uh, to the benefit of the of the population. So uh, thank you so much, Gaurav, for joining us today at our healthcare startup series and discussing about haystack analysis and the good work it is doing for uh, India. I, I see a beautiful logo uh, out there <laughs> of uh, your company. I think definitely it's making sense of uh, genomics data and requires a lot of computational technologies which Haystacks has and also databases to evolve in a parallel with sequencing technologies because advances in both technologies would actually enable an ever-increasing capacity for accurate diagnosis of existing diseases and also the development of effective, effective and targeted uh, treatment uh, strategies because that is the uh, for out of the cause and because again a lot of clinicians are uh, treating patients and definitely there is there is a, as there is a very uh, poor patient doctor ratio also definitely these kind of strategies would help clinicians make their decisions faster and treat more and more patients that is also one big aspect i think which uh, haystack analysis and startups like haystack analysis would be doing thank you once again Gaurav, uh, for joining us today Thanks a lot, Smitha. Uh, pleasure talking to you. Same.